previously on Gears. All over the place. All right, let's uh, have a look at the world of Formula One. Lotus have said, don't rule out Kimi Raikkonen. And I think after we've seen at the Hungarian Grand Prix that there are going to be certain teams that are going to uh, benefit from the new rulings of uh, the tyres uh, in the sense of the 2012 construction but the 2013 rubber. Mercedes definitely made an inroad, regardless of the fact that Sebastian Vettel was a little bit held up by the likes of Jensen Button in Hungary. I think you've got to applaud Mercedes for what they actually achieved. They are going to get stronger and stronger. Do not count out either Rosberg or Hamilton for this championship. Their main contender, of course, is Sebastian Vettel, and Vettel looks good just about anywhere he goes. For uh, the other teams, Ferrari, well, they seem to unfortunately have uh, gone a little bit backwards. They need to do something very special in order to get back into this race because I think they're about the fourth uh, or fifth uh, best car on the grid uh, at the moment, having started off at, as uh, sort of level pegging with um, the likes of Red Bull. Also over the weekend was a very significant achievement, and that is, I mean, it's sad to say, but it was the first point scored by the Williams team in 10 races. This is one of the most uh, prestigious and historically most winning team in Formula One. And, uh, well, it's taken them 10 races to score one point for Pastor Maldonado. Just to let you know, that one point is worth about 25 to $30 million um, in terms of television money for next season. So, nothing to uh, snooze at. Well, Michael Schumacher is uh, surprised by the Mercedes-Benz form. He says it's not about uh, any regrets about retiring, but uh, he didn't expect them to be as good as they are. He said, I'm happy for them, but I could not have seen it coming. So much energy was consumed in the last three years that he was there, and he would not have been able to continue at the level at which I want to measure myself. So, very, very honest in... Um, coming from uh, the likes of uh, Michael Schumacher. Do you think Mercedes will stay up there now? I think they will. I think they've got a very good chance. I think the next two races are very critical because they're both very, very fast races. Don't forget Hungary um, is the second slowest race on the circuit. And even though it was so hot, you can't really measure that kind of heat at those speeds as to the serious amount of tyre degradation. So when you get to Spa, if it is warm and hot, in Spa and in Monza, we might see a turn of the table. So it's very much up in the air at, uh, at present. The one team you just got to worry about all the time, of course, um, is uh, Red Bull because they seem to be able to do anything any, uh, at any track as well. Other news that is coming, Gerhard Berger, former Ferrari driver and former Toro Rosso owner, says um, that Fernando Alonso should try for the Red Bull drive. And he brings up something which I think you can debate quite interestingly. Gerhard Berger says he's been now uh, three years at, um, at Ferrari and they failed to deliver him a title. 2010, well, they lost it on the pit wall. 2011, uh, well, just Vettel was just supreme. And last year it came down to the wire, but, the, but, but Red Bull were, were better. So if you look at it and you say, yes, well, after three years, hopefully you should have expected to win a championship. You've got to go back and sit there and say, when Schumacher joined Ferrari in 1996, he lost out two years in a row to um, the likes of Williams. But he was in a car that wasn't challenging for, for victory, although in 97 he lost the, the championship in the last race, which showed you how good Schumacher was compared to the rest. Then in 98 and 99, he lost the two championships to McLaren, where McLaren just was a slightly better car. Although in 99, you've got to believe that without Schumacher having his accident at Silverstone, he more than likely would have won that championship. There afterwards, it was a five-year run for him. So Alonso's now got to sit there and say, have Ferrari got the resources that from next year, with all of these new changes, to be the winning car and maybe have a stretch of two or three championships to himself? Or... Will Mercedes have the best car or will Red Bull have the best car? And that's very, very difficult to um, hypothesize about now because of the massive rule changes for next year. So I think, um, I think there's just a lot of hype around Alonso and some of the statements he said over the, the weekend. But I think it's more out of frustration 
than uh, than anything else for the uh, Spanish driver. He definitely wants to um, win a championship, that's for sure. Other news that comes out of Ferrari is that they're considering a Le Mans car prototype entry uh, within its Formula One portfolio. And I think this is quite a quite a good development because you've got Audi in Le Mans and you've got Porsche coming back into Le Mans and you've got Mercedes who are doing the Le Mans kind of series who might look at going in with something like an energy efficient kind of car. So it'd be great to see Le Mans having those huge marks again in uh, Formula One. Honda looking at it as well. Um, and of course, you've got Toyota there as, uh, as well. So there we go. Uh, that is a look at uh, the world of Formula One this afternoon. We will have some more tomorrow afternoon. At the next intersection, turn. On Gears with Sasha Martinengo. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time.